Hi guys, Grandad's post bag, November the 5th, so we might have some noise outside with fireworks. Pretty confident I know what this one is. A battery. With a connector on it. This is for my plane. My charity shop find from a few weeks back. And that's the battery pack I'm trying to replace. Now that looks a significantly smaller, doesn't it? Also has a different connector on it, but I figured out this is a common connector nowadays, so I can swap out this, or use this one, to make an adapter to go onto that one. So we can put it in the plane. But there is a problem because that doesn't appear to be the same size. Well, it clearly isn't the same size. But I'm sure when I read the measurements, when I ordered it, it was the same size. So we're going to have to check that. This one's supposed to be 110 milliamp hours. This one's supposed to be 120 milliamp hours. So we've got the power, both 4.8 volts, but because this one's going to be smaller and lighter, that's going to upset the balance in the plane. It also won't fit in there. It's supposed to fit in there and clip in place. So that's annoying. I'm going to have to do a bit more digging. Well, we can probably rig it up and try it out. But as I say, the balance will be wrong. I'll have to check the centre of gravity with that one in place and then see what we ought to do to adjust it to try and use that one. That's frustrating. It may work, it may not. I won't know till we try it out. On the positive side, that connector, the spacers or the spacing of the connector, means it actually fits the existing plug may not be as secure as it should be. May need to wrap a rubber band around it or something to stop it falling out. But that does fit straight into the existing connector. So I've got the power on. So I might try charging it and see whether it will work. It's a bit late at night. I'd actually forgotten that I'd left this charging, which is never a good thing. The um, charger that comes with the plane uses six D-sized batteries so that you can do it out in the field. I expect I've probably run them down a bit. This is quite hot where it's been left on charge. Because it's a different type of battery, it hasn't cut out properly. It hasn't turned itself off. So I may have to look at a different charger. I have got a different one, so I'll have to use it. But I just thought I'd plug it in and see how long it runs for. Which will probably annoy my wife because she's gone to bed. And because it's not the right plug and socket. I have to make sure I get it the right way round. Make sure we're switched off. That would be a good idea. Right. Switch 
switch on. So what was that? That was about a 20 second run I think then. Still that should be enough to get us up in the air. Electronics in there sense when the battery's getting low. Cut the propeller or cut the motor so you've still got enough power in the batteries to control the steering. Seeing that that type of plug fits into the socket in the plane, I've got an adapter that fits my little LiPo batteries. So I just thought, well, let's give that a try. Let's see how long that'll last. Right. Not at all. Which is a shame, because that's a 3.7 volt LiPo. They go up to, what is it, 4.2 when they're fully charged. But the cutoff in there is obviously recognising that as being too low for the motor to run and control the receiver. So it's cutting off immediately. If I hold it in, there's actually a good bit of power coming through there. It's not quite as much as we get from the NICAD battery which is 4.8 volts so it's obviously recon recognizing the LiPo isn't giving it enough. I suppose I could try a 2S battery but that might burn it out because that'd be so 7.4 volts which fully charged is 8.4 I think and this thing is only expecting 4.8 so that might be a bad idea. Trying another option two of these LiPo batteries in parallel so they're still only 3.7 volts but more current Well, that went for about 20 seconds with two of those little lipos. So I guess I got a choice. I can try that little, uh, I think it was nickel metal hydride battery. That one. Which lasted for about 20 seconds. The original NICAD battery that came with the plane lasts for about 10 seconds, fully charged. And if I use two of these in parallel, I got 20 seconds again. I expect I could put three or four of them in parallel, but then we start adding weight a bit then. Well, three of those little LiPo batteries fit in there quite nicely. And I just ran it with that, and it ran for well over a minute. And that was with two of the batteries that I'd already run down. So I just added one fresh one. And I got about a minute and a half run. There's all sorts of possibilities.